It is Gaylon. It's a weird name. Time for Champions League. Uh, probably the most difficult task we're going to have to face in the coming weeks or months. Yep. Uh, and especially after what we've been seeing of Real Madrid in the yep. last two games. This might be, for me, a good chance to either kind of like end, you know, and going down, finally. <laughs> or kind of, you know, uh, put our heads up and uh, acknowledge that it was just a bump. Yeah, this was a bump in our wonderful road to the trouble. Hey, now who knows? September has been a tough month for us. Yeah. This by far, I think, will be the toughest competition we faced this month so far. And I think we need to put our best foot forward. We haven't seen that great of competition, like you're saying. Or we haven't competed that well in these last competitions, especially in league. And we just merely, barely made it out by the skins of our teeth in the sporting match. So. You know what, I think we need to show a better Real Madrid in the second group stage game. Yeah, let's see uh, what we think is going to happen. Uh, we really have a lot of doubts. Yeah. Because Keylor is now recovered. Well, he was uh, on the on the list for the last game. He didn't play, but uh, I mean, he's ready 100%. Okay. So Keylor's like... ready and we and we were sort of not arguing or discussing who we should, who we think um, Sidan is going to put in goal. And I personally think, I mean, I think there's not really a good time, maybe next weekend against Abar is a good time for, for mm -hmm. Keylor to come out. But I think this is an important match. We saw a little mistake um, of Kiko in the last, by Kiko in the last match against Las Palmas. And I just think like we need to come out with the most confidence. And I, I have a little bit more confidence in, in Keylor. my Keylor. Yeah, it's true. And I, I do too. But the thing is, would it send the wrong message true. to Kiko That's if fair. like as soon as Keylor is out? Because Kiko's been doing it okay. You know, he's been uh, definitely like, I wouldn't say any of the goals were his fault. No, I mean, that was a lucky goal. The second one was a Yeah, and I would say like it's, it's more due to a lack of a defensive performance or I poor agree. defensive performance than Akiko. But anyway, we're going to go with Keylor. We're going to go defense, with Keylor. Uh, we're going to go on the left with Danilo. We're thinking uh, so far is one of the guys who's been doing it the best. Yes. And uh, he's always in shape and, uh, you know, he's a physical power. Yep. And uh, we're going to definitely need that for the high rhythm that Borussia plays. And on the right, Carvajal, Carvajal. for pretty much the same reason. Yes. And center backs is uh, where we have more doubts. Ramos hasn't been performing, Baran either. Yeah. So, so Pepe I mean, and Ramos. Pepe and Ramos, because I think Ramos will always play, even though he hasn't been playing that well. And I think he's just a little lackadaisical on defense, making lots of mistakes. I mean, we never know if we're going to see a red card. He's going to get ejected, another handball in the box. <sighs> so it's, it's sort of questionable, but I think it'll be rep. Ra, ra, Pepe and Ramos. I was Pepe gonna and Ramos. Mix and, uh, well, hopefully we'll see uh, the best Ramos. And in the midfield, I think it's clear we'll have Cross and Modric. Ah, sorry, but now the thing beat. is to <laughs> see if that third midfielder is a, one of a more like offensive profile or a more defensive profile. I think it's going to be Kovacic. I think we think it's going to be yes. Kovacic. So we're going to see Kovacic, uh, Cross, and Modric because the presence of Kovacic also like frees. Cross and Modric to play near the box, yes. which is where they are better. Totally, and, and I think that looking back at the last couple of matches, we really are lacking in our defensive pressuring. We don't, we're not really moving as a system, and I think it's good, especially without Casemiro, to yeah. have someone in there who, who sort of, ah, these stupid bees. <laughs> ah, these stupid bees. <sighs> I think it's good to have someone in there that will sort of do that role and naturally does that role that Casemiro does because we're missing his presence in the midfield. Ramos and, and Baran this last match, you know, they weren't really stepping up when the whole team's pressuring. They're leaving their, that, whole, that area in front of them yeah. wide open for players to come in and receive the ball without any pressure. I think we need someone to and be I think in there. That's what happened in the two goals by Las Palmas in the last game. And then up top, we're going to go okay. with the, the BBC. The BBC, or but the we BMT. have the, we have the BMT. That sounds like a sandwich. I don't know. Uh, I really think I would like to see personally Morata. I think Morata yeah. has earned it. He's showing he's you know he's fit, and that's sort of the question is. But is Benzema fit enough to start these matches? This is an important match. Benzema of the BBC, in my opinion, has been playing the best of the yeah, three. Yeah, I agree with um, that. And he's um, scored goals in the last what three matches that he's played in. Uh, so maybe the fact that he doesn't start, you know, doesn't mean that he can't come as he's been doing in the last couple of games, and you know change a little bit or give us more offensive options uh, you know coming in for the last 30 or 35 minutes so we think it's gonna be Bruno. Bale because Bale is fit Bale is Bale's ready. Bale's fit, Bale's good he's always a good presence on the field and yeah. works hard on defense I mean on defense on and off the ball yeah. gets back or tracks back gets up the field so we like that I would love to see him score a goal so there's Bale, Morata and, and well Cristiano the I mean. polarizing Cristiano Ronaldo we saw him taken off Finally, and I don't know. I mean, I think both of us were in agreement, and a lot of fans. I asked I you think guys. It was a good thing that he subbed off Cristiano. He's like, dude, if you're not playing right, you know, like you're you're also part of the team, and like everybody's subject to the rotations, right. and you know, if you're not giving us what you're supposed to be giving us, right? You know, there might be another player who can, right. and and you know, he should he should be okay with that. 
But I think, of course, he's gonna start, and unless anything weird happen, happens, he's gonna play the whole right. match. Right, and unfortunately for me, I think, like you said, he he played 70 minutes, he needed to come because he wasn't doing his job, and it's just unfortunate that he's one of those players that, you know, it's a it's very controversial if we take him off yeah. at, the, at the expense of the team. And exactly. that's the question is, are we willing to play with Cristiano on the, on, the, on the field if he's not performing like he should be at the expense of tying or losing this match? I don't know. And uh, to speak about the match, I think it's going to be, as we were saying, one of the toughest games because uh, probably the rhythm, the pace that Borussia has, uh, it's, it's a pace that we haven't faced yet yep. uh, this season. You know, they move the ball very quickly. They transition uh, from defense to offense very quickly as well. They have players that can play, you know, in every, let's say, in all the attacking front hmm. with Aubameyang, with Dembele, which probably is going to give Carvajal a lot of, uh, a lot of difficulties. He's a good dribbler. Uh, so we're going to have to see, I think, we're going to have to see a Real Madrid transitioning Perfectly uh, from, uh, from offense from offense to defense. From offense to defense, especially when we turn over the ball. I think that's where a lot of teams catch us is we turn over the ball and not everyone's dropping back yeah. quick enough or I'm not exactly sure. I think if we're gonna press, if we're gonna do sort of like a low press and wait until half field, everyone needs to be moving, everyone needs to be on the right page. It's sort of it's complicated to do, but it just needs to it needs to work this time. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I, and like you said, uh, Alba Meyeng is a great player. I really like Dembele. He's a young, uh, young winger. He's quick. He's skilled. I mean, he really surprised me. I watched the the Wolfsburg game where they crushed them, and he yeah. was unbelievable in my opinion. And we've got our little American. Our little. He's not that small, but Pulisic. Pulisic has been starting these matches. That our little American. Our little. Um, my fellow American, he's been starting, he's doing a good job. So, I mean, I saw them a very strong team. Uh, they'll give us a hard, uh, hard fought match. Luckily for us, Bar Bartra's not playing. I can't even pronounce his name. Bartra's not yeah. playing. And so they might be susceptible, I think, a little bit, you know, shaking the yeah. back, susceptible to our counterattacks, which are some of the best in the world. Yeah, uh, but we haven't been seeing the best version of our counterattacks here. So, uh, <laughs> I think, you know, this is a game where Real Madrid just has to uh, kind of assert the fact that they're, we're a better team, a stronger team, and not. You know, come and on we're the, the pitch European without. champions. Exactly, exactly. Come on. And because uh, if we let them play us, uh, we can uh, come, uh, as we say in Spanish, salir trasquilado, which means, you know, we can, uh, we can get a beating. You know, uh, <laughs> that could be possible. But, you know, uh, let's uh, not think that's going to happen. No. Uh, predictions, and it's not going to be definitely a, a big prediction. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to go 2-1. 2-1. One. I'm, I'm feeling hopeful. Still a win. Lots of goals. I'm going to hope for a 2-3 in favor of Madrid, obviously. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, hopefully Cristiano Ronaldo turns it on and we see the, the Champions League version of him and not this funky La Liga version that we've been seeing this past well, That's another key thing, you know, Champions League version of Cristiano is always better. So 3-2 mm -hmm. for Real Madrid, 2-1 for Real Madrid. Galactic, just let us know what you think is going to happen, how Real Madrid should face this game. Sorry for that. <laughs> and, uh, of course, you know, uh, give us a like and subscribe. Tell your friends we're here. If you like this video, please share it. And don't forget to go to our webpage. The link is in the description below. You'll find a lot of really cool stuff and information on social network about Real Madrid, the Champions League and all. And uh, after and all that... And after all that, one more thing to not forget. After the match, we will do an English review, which I, I did the last time after the Las Palmas game. It was really fun. You guys wrote in, uh, commenting, interacting with me. And so we'll be there this time, tomorrow. If you can't watch the game, right watch after the reaction game. with us. Yeah, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. I think it's clear we're going to have Kroos and Modric, and Modric, and Modric, and Modric. But now the thing is to see... Have someone in there who, who sort of... Ah, these stupid bees.